I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm mad, doing no cap Only God wants you, better go live it up Cash in the bag, stadium pack Baby, I'm bad, yeah. baby, I'm bad I just wanna stay bad, stay mad Shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me Ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause some pain, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call a shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah Cash in the bag, stadium pack Born a rock star in this life, gonna live it up on the attack Baby, I'm bad, I just wanna get caught up in this life I'm crazy, I'm Welcome back to Frank's Model Aviation Workshop This is gonna be a bonus episode in the Top Flight 60 Size Gold Edition P40E Warhawk Build Series Just to show you where I'm at right now and I'll be doing some stuff on it I'll uh, do it in fast speed, then bring you in and, and show you what I've done. And uh, But mainly just to give you some updates, just so you know, that it's, it's still going to happen. The P40 is going to be finished. So I'm hoping to get it finished by spring. We'll see. But uh, it's looking pretty good so far. Got my scoop on there, and it's going to hopefully be functional enough to where uh, it cools off the... Uh, engine and provides more air to the carburetor so we'll see anyway if you like this type of content please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified of future episodes and be sure to like and share my videos i really appreciate you thanks and uh let's get going on this thing so i'll be using a dle 20 ra and as you can see the carburetor is in the rear and there's not much air space in between there. So when it's up on the firewall, I want it to provide an air, an air passageway. So I'll show you, I'll turn this over and I'll show you how the scoop is gonna look, gonna look like. Air's gonna rush in there. I've got it epoxied all around that scoop really good. This backside I just CA'd thin seated on and I'll turn this over and I'll show you the underside so as you can see with the light air is going to go right in through there and exit right here and push air right past here which is going to go right in front of it or right by the carburetor you have plenty of air so that should be uh, good enough to keep that engine running so anyway I got to redo my air and my fuel, I had this nice, neat looking little uh, deal for my air and fuel and the little vent line. But when I went to put my cowl on, I blocked most of that air off. So I'm gonna put use the one in the kit. It just has like two little things on either end. I'll have to figure out another way to run my vent, but as long as I got the air and the fuel, fuel up deal on there, that should be good. So I'll set up and do the do those two pieces in a fast speed. I'm gonna smooth this out so it's uh, nice and neat looking. So we'll do that. So here's the uh, new airline and fuel fill. 
I put two gussets on each one just to give it some strength. And I'm going to mix up some thin finishing resin and paint it on here. And when that dries, I'm going to paint all the black. All this inside here will be black. Not even, I'm going to even try to paint inside that scoop a little bit black because, you know, you'll see. I don't want to see wood whenever... Uh, I spray my olive drab, but that's that. Now I got to rig up that air tank, figure out how I want to do that. That's next. So as you can see, this tank, this is a uh, Sierra tank, won't fit down in between there. So what I'm going to do This is an invaluable tool. You just find the right hole, which is about two inch. That'll leave me some room to put some fuel tubing around, you know, around the uh, former there. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with a two inch for now. I think the next size that would be too big. So we'll go with two inch. I'm going to take and uh, somehow transfer this onto the formers. I might have to cut this. It's no big deal. I mean, you can get these at any art store. So we'll get that done. Okay, lines transferred. You know what's next? Gotta break out the Dremel tool. We'll get these all done and I'll test fit the tank. Okay, so I enlarged it to two inches. I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it and just use uh, like silicone caulk. Run a bead of silicone caulk down here, place it in, squeeze it down in, and then just, just like run a bead here, not the whole way around, of course, just, just enough to keep it from moving. I think that'll be good enough. Probably, probably can even use, uh, you know, make a little, do hickey on either side and just hold it in with rubber bands. That might even be a better idea. Of course, a rubber band might uh, give or rot out after a while. But there's the air tank situated. I think next I'm going to mount this air valve. Figure out where I'm gonna, how I'm gonna mount that. But that's next. I think I'm going to hold off on that for a minute. I'm going to go ahead and paint this with thinned resin. And then when that dries, I'll get all this painted, get all that done up here. Because I'm pretty much done up there. I just got to concentrate right here, get that air line. Plus, I got to uh, charge up my control or my radio in order to zero out these servos and uh, get everything situated for the radio gear because I need to know this this throw in order to adjust my airline so we'll do that next Okay, I got that painted with thinned out resin. Got a little of the paint on it in there and dyed it a little bit. That's okay, it's all gonna be black anyway. I'm painting it with uh, Tamiya acrylic, semi-gloss black. Forgot to protect that hole, so I, I put some thin CA in there as well. 
<clears throat> and uh, when this all cures, I'm gonna come back and paint all this black again. Even these, I forgot to paint these last time. And I'm gonna paint down inside the scoop black too, as much as I can get. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go downstairs and have a couple cups of coffee and I'll be back after a bit. All right, first coat of paint's on. I didn't repaint the second coat on this yet. I'll do that when I do the second coat on the rest, but I'm gonna put two coats on and then I'm probably gonna put another coat of polyacrylic over top of that. So once that dries, I'll continue on. So I got the uh, lower chin cowl uh, bondo and initially sanded. Still got to do all that final sanding and stuff. If anybody was wondering what this hole is, this is for the choke for my engine. Second coat of black is applied and I'll uh, turn it over and show you what I'm going to do here with the tank I'm just going to silicone silicone caulk it just put a, a bead on that former and I'm just going to like just secure it with a little right here just that way I can remove it if I have to any kind any time you know and you know the tank goes in there i got it all set up still have to run my air valve but what i'm going to do i'm going to get set up here and show you the uh, differences in spinners that i've wanted to use with this thing and i'll show you here in a sec okay so as you can see here this is the top flight plastic spinner it's a two blade spinner but i cut it to make it a three blade for display purposes this is the p40 display prop and when you put it up on the plane that's the profile it should have this is a exact scale outline that's what it should be now i wanted a three blade spinner so i ordered one from true turn and i had it cut to the uh zor 15.7 uh world war ii prop so here it is the issue i have with it you can see it's an inch taller same width but it's an inch taller which gives the p40 a long nose i mean it doesn't look bad but i really wanted 
a more scale outline. So I did a little more research online and I found this one. As you can see, let me get them lined up. As you can see, this is a Dave Brown three or four inch spinner. It's a two blade, but I'm gonna fly with the two blade just so I can have that scale outline. And I'm gonna display with the top flight. So I'm gonna end up going with this and this whenever you put it up on there. Let me get it situated right. Looks more scale, in my opinion. Okay, I'll, I'll do that. Then I'll put the top light one up there. See, they're almost identical. The only difference is the, the profile is a little pointier on this part of the, the, fr the front two inches is a little more pointier than this one. But I think I like that profile better and it'll look, I think it'll look nicer. It'll fly all right. That way I can do a 16-8 prop. So I'll do that. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to end this bonus video now and i might do another one when i get further on but i gotta do a lot of other stuff i still gotta fiberglass the wing and do all that stuff i got my tail hinged up i need to cover it and uh i'm not sure how i want to cover it i ordered some clear monocoat and i'd scuff it up and paint it or I can poly span it, which is what I originally was going to do, but man, that takes so long to do. Or I can silk span it, but that's another thing. It's just as long as poly span, only poly span is more durable. So I'm probably going to poly span it. I'm not sure. I have the dope and stuff to do it. I just, you know, I don't know. I just want to get this done, but there's really no rush. So anyway, I think I might end this. Can't wait to uh, get this thing done. Well, what do you guys think of it so far? I think she's coming right along. I'm happy I got the uh, cowling semi finished. Just got to sand it, finish sand it, and paint it whenever we go to paint the plane. But uh, did quite a bit. Got this all fixed up where the air and fuel lines are going. Got my tank ready to mount. Pretty much the only thing I have left to do is do that air valve and uh, I can I can actually prime this fuselage now before I do that, which I might, you might end up seeing a, a video of it being primed or after I prime it or whatever, we'll see. But anyway, that's all I'm gonna do on it for now. Uh, I'll, I'll be posting updates on Facebook, my Facebook group, Frank Small Aviation Workshop. And uh, I, I update like that through the, through the Facebook groups, top flight groups and stuff. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do for this bonus video. If you like this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that notification bell and uh, be sure to like uh, and share my videos. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, until next bonus, if there is one, thanks for watching.